But truthfully, it doesn't matter if it's getting a girl or it's making money or it's getting status. It doesn't matter what it is. As a man, we live in hyper-competitive environments. I don't think enough men understand how competitive the world is. If you want a girl, you're competing against other men. You're not the only man who had the idea of getting that girl. There's no girl you're going to see and go, oh, I'll get that girl and didn't cross anyone else's mind. Everybody else wants her. You have to out-compete other men. You have to be as competitive as possible. You have to be as successful as possible in all realms. You have to be as good-looking, as funny, as smart, as spontaneous, as interesting, as charismatic as rich as possible. You need to try very hard to be your absolute best. And as you become a better man, you'll crack through different tiers of attractiveness and eventually you get to the top and you'll be able to have any girl you want. But the truth is, I have a lot of guys ask me, similar to your question, a guy will come to me and go, how do I get a girl? I'm like, bro, you're a loser. Yeah, but I know, but how do I get a girl? Well, you're a fucking loser. You're a loser. Why are you asking me? It's like saying, how do I win a race with a push bike? You're racing Ferraris. What do you want me to do? Yeah. There's only so much you can do. What's up, guys? I'm pretty sure many of you guys enjoyed that clip. I'm sure many of you guys agreed with that clip. But here in the Shade Podcast, we beg to defer. Not entirely, not entirely, but fundamentally we do disagree with it. Now, Kyler, if you can go ahead and give to the viewer what exactly was Andrew Tate trying to say? So what Andrew was saying, Andrew Tate, shout out to my boy Andrew Huss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Straight love you. to you, my boy. Yep, we miss you. Um, but... Andrew Tate is saying in this video that if you want to get women, you have to improve yourself. You have to build your status up. You've got to make a whole bunch of money. You have to be rich. You have to be successful. You have to be the top of your game to be able to get a woman. And then he also talks about how when there is a woman that you want, there is going to be competition, which I... I think that that is absolutely true is that when there is a woman that you like in particular, the, the women, they have people that are just after them all the time. Women are like, they, they, they're they they're God's greatest creation. So there's always somebody that's admiring that creation. There's always somebody that wants that woman. As, as a men, there may be, you may have one person that wants right. you, you know, you just have to, it just, is what it is as for like every but say one woman there's like five guys i'm just making this number up that that's after her that likes right. her that thinks that she's attractive maybe even but more then, yeah exactly and then on this side you as a guy there's just probably like one and then maybe your mom or right. something <laughs> you yeah. know it's, it's rough for the it's men the, out here it, it is know. rough for them out there you know but and so essentially just because there's a girl and you think that she is cute doesn't mean that there are not other guys that are after her that is absolutely true i have seen it firsthand there's been girls that i thought oh wow she's attractive i'm talking to her and then you would think that you are the only person that's talking to her and then there's another knucklehead that's trying to make his move mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on your woman or you right. think you know it's your woman because you have a crush on her so you think that it's yours but it, it is always competition there are always men out here that is trying to get after the same girl that you want to so it is yeah. ultimately a competition but the question becomes what are we competing for right because i believe that men can't will compete for a woman but there are two motives for co competing. One man may be competing for sex, and then the other man may be competing for that woman's heart. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes, men, they want to, there, there's a lot of men, a majority of men, not all men, but a majority, a great majority are just competing for sex. They yep. just want to smash the woman. They're like, bro, she bad. I'm just saying anything to her right. just to get her in the bed. And so they're competing for sex. But then there are the the rare guys that's out here that's kind of square that we think corny the the godly man <laughs> you right. know that actually wants a relationship with this woman and he's like hey baby i'm trying to introduce you to my mom so i'm trying to make you my wife right. he's trying to get her heart and so ultimately the woman chooses who she wants to be with and oftentimes a lot of the women they go for the man that uh just wanted to smash right and i want to <laughs> say something to that really really let's say that godly man the moment he realizes what type of woman she is then right. he's gonna go ahead and leave her so he is not saying and don't put words into his mouth mm -hmm. he is not saying that godly man and secular man go after uh, one worldly woman. Absolutely not. The moment mm. that a godly man finds out what type of woman she is, he's going to go ahead and leave her. Now, um, 
Andrew Tate is essentially saying, now look, we aren't just here talking specifically about Andrew Tate, but lots of men who are like-minded like him, especially men in the red pill movement. It makes sense on paper to go ahead and level up yourself, to have as much money as possible, mm. to grow as much muscle as possible, to have a lot of status surrounding your name, uh, become a businessman, whatever the case may be, you need to enhance yourself so that whenever you do go out into the dating market, women can be by byproducts of your success and so by that you go ahead and pick and choose who you want to be you don't you have the leverage right women no longer have the leverage over you since you have all these resources to your name you have the leverage you get to mm. um have the opportunity to go ahead and cheat because she understands that hey since he's a high value man he isn't tied down to me he has lots of options at his disposal because of who he is is as a high value man. That's essentially what the red film movement is. It's just your success. Uh, women are byproducts of that. Now, just as Kyler was saying, the women are essentially picking who is best for her life. What does that show us? Think with us for a moment. Okay. Ariel has this amount of money. Kyler is taller than Ariel. So that's one point for Kyler, um, they both have these resources to her name. You know what? Kyler seems the best one for me because due to his resources that he has. So because I'm shallow and because I'm only going to go ahead and be with him and give myself up to him because of what he has, then Kyler is the winner. Yeah, Ariel, uh, you didn't meet my shallow standards. Um, so he's going to, so I'm going to go ahead and degrade myself and, and allow him to use me as the means to an end. So it's wrong on both parties. Look at the woman who you're sleeping with. You're essentially sleeping with a prostitute. Think about that for a moment. I'm going to give them a moment to think. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have time to think about it. <laughs> All right, then. then let's, get, let's proceed with the episode. And so, and so a lot of them... Because the men say, okay, I got all this money. I got all this status. I've, I, I have, I'm well known. I've got this amount of money. I've got these cars. Mm -hmm. I've got these houses. I've got these businesses. Mm -hmm. I have all these things to my name. And then, so they think that now because they have that, now all the women all of a sudden flock. Now you have to look and see, does that woman really want you mm -hmm. for who you are? Or does she want you because of all the things that you have? And so now it, it, it comes wow. to seeing, okay, who does this, does this woman really want me for me or does she want me for what I have? And there's a lot of men who think that they cannot have a woman right now because of where they are in their life. They say, well, when, maybe when I become successful, when I do this, when I do that, and I have this amount of money and this, and, and build my status up and improve and enhance myself, then wow. maybe I will be able to find a woman if I have this and I have that. Okay, but understand too is that you will find the woman that is really truly there for you when you are at your lowest point exactly. in life. And that woman will help you to get to the place where you need to be in life. She will help you to reach your God-given destiny. Mm -hmm. She will help you to fulfill that purpose that God has on your life. That this, and, and that's the thing that it will be is that a, a woman, they say that, that a woman's loyalty is tested when a man has nothing. But then when a man has everything, that's when his his loyalty mm -hmm. is tested to a woman because mm -hmm. usually when a man has everything that he feels as if it's his right. world, he has no consequences, he can just sleep with all these women and do whatever he wants. But then the woman is tested to see if her if she's really loyal to her man when he has nothing. And so I think that if you really truly want to find the woman that is for you, then it's going to be in some suffering. It's going to be in some hard times, but let alone, of course, you won't necessarily say, for instance, be the, the, the richest man in the world in order to accommodate a woman. But I do believe that you should have your responsibilities right. in order right. before having a, a relationship with a woman because there are certain... It, it, is a, it is a responsibility having a woman being right. with a woman that's a huge responsibility and it's just not just for, for some of you just want to have it as casual sex but for the men out here that are seeking marriage and they want to move in a godly way and move towards that that is a great huge responsibility for somebody that wants to have a family of course you want to be um, financially stable you want to be able to be able to take care of yourself and be able to provide your you know take care 
care of your bills and be self-sufficient so that you have you're able to take care of your wife when she does come into your life of course you want to be in that position but to ultimately say okay well i'm gonna work 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 and then that way i can have sex with a whole bunch of women so that's your life goal now is that we want to just work hard and have all of these things so that we can right. sleep with a bunch of women. So that's the that's the mindset now. Is right. Let's work hard so that we can have sex. That's the reward for all of my all right. of my things that I've right. done in my life. Is to sleep with prostitutes. Now look. Yeah. Um. Again, uh, don't put words into his mouth. And you see, this is the great thing about having a two man podcast is. Mm-hmm. Um, I understand what some of the rats in the background may say to what you just said, so they'll put words in your mouth. Um, Kyle explained his position perfectly, but I need to go ahead and say this in case for y'all guys who think that y'all are about to re- rebuttal him on the comments. He's saying, wow, so Kyle, are you prescribing for men to uh, go out there and marry a girl who is a unicorn because unicorns, they'll go ahead and be with a man at his lowest. Kyler, I don't think you really understand uh, the reality out there. Absolutely he does, but I just need to go ahead and say this for y'all guys who are going to say this. Perhaps y'all guys may think that what we are saying is to go out there and marry a whore, go out there and marry a girl who uh, will be with you at your lowest, but then y'all guys may say, there are no girls no more in today's society that's going to go ahead and be with you at your lowest. There are no girls who are who are your religious. There are no girls like that anymore. They are called unicorns. So you need to go ahead and adapt to the sexual market. Yes, you need to go ahead and compete. You need to go ahead and have all of these resources to your name so that you may have a chance with a prostitute. Mm. Okay, so um, no, we are not saying to go out there and marry a whore. We are not saying um, that for all men, they should marry. If you are not religious, I believe you should not get married <laughs> because marriage it is a religious institution. Now that is for another episode, but take that how you may. But nonetheless, what we are saying is this though, Religion changes everything. God changes everything. So Kyler is saying for the religious woman and for the religious man, if they come together, then everything changes. That man doesn't necessarily have to have all of these resources to his name. And of course, a Christian is not a bum. That's an oxymoron. Hmm. Again, they may say, oh, so are you saying that a Christian can just, a Christian man can be however he wants to be without changing himself? No, absolutely not. A Christian man understands the concept of work, understands the uh, concept of providing for himself, and likes to provide for his family, likes to provide for his future wife, hopefully. A Christian man is a man who works. Now, by that being said, that woman is going to go ahead and like that man for who he is because he's a godly man, mm, right? His character. Not because, not because of what he has. And if she is only with him because of what he has, she is a shallow woman. No wonder why a lot of these men are out here trying to chase the shallow woman, but at the same time, they're mad at them for picking the winners. Look, it collapses on its own. The red pill movement collapses on its own. It contradicts its own self. Mm. They're going to go ahead and bash women for acting that way. But at the same time, you're going to go ahead and play into their games. Maybe because y'all guys can't comprehend that religion changes everything. It can change a woman and a man's heart to operate together and love each other based on who they are. And of course, uh, them receiving the love from the only true source of love, and that is God. I want to go ahead and say this, Kyler, really Mm -hmm. quickly. I was on the phone today with my sister, Mm -hmm. and this guy was hating on our podcast (laughs) He was essentially saying, I'm tired of, you know, men talking down against women, which we don't ever talk down against. So we just simply mm-hmm. say who they are. And of course, you don't. If y'all guys see, we talk uh, to the men a lot more than women on this podcast. That being said, mm-hmm. that man, my sister told me that he pays for women's vacations. <laughs> he pays for women's vacations. Um, he sleeps around with women because mm-hmm. of the money that he has. And my sister kind of talked to him. Uh, she's not friends do with him of course not absolutely not um i wouldn't allow it so <laughs> that that man uh my sister asked him hey do you know what these girls are doing to you you know they're just kind of using you for your money and what you have he says yes i know but it's fine though because i get to have sex with them do you think that man is honestly fulfilled and that's just one man imagine countless of rich men countless of men who work so hard and yet they're like of what kylie just said they're not you. They're not with me for who I am. They're with me because of my resources. Mm. I'm having sex with actual right. prostitutes. 
That's what the Red Room exactly. was doing. And then if you lost all of that, see how many wow. of those women will still be there. And also, too, to mm. pinpoint what he was saying as he was defending my argument, was also I was saying, too, is I was saying that men, there are a lot of men who are discouraged because they are not they they are not the quote unquote successful man that society paints men to be. They don't have they're not rich, they're not famous. So they think that they cannot have a woman like that a woman because they, you know, because of where they are right now in their lives. And that's what I'm saying is that you can find a woman, a real true woman, a woman that you really want to be with, that you want to marry is going to be that woman that's going to hold it down with you and be there with you when you don't necessarily have where you are and then when you have that woman of god in your life the bible says that when a man finds a wife he finds a good thing and wow. he attains favor wow. with god so yep. when that man finds a, a wife a woman of god his life is going to drastically mm. increase wow. in ways than if he was just a single man wow <sighs> that's why we need to follow the biblical principles instead of listening to all of these men knuckle out heads. here and <laughs> like, these knuckleheads. Like, yeah. and that's the, your favorite word for them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> following these knuckleheads and these, these uh -huh. guys out here that are just telling you anything. If you want a woman, man, follow yeah. God's word. That's yes. how you get the Absolutely. woman of God. If that's what you really want is, is a woman of God, then follow God's word. If you want a <laughs> woman of the world then of course right. listen to these other guys right. out here in these women I'm laughing. The world that's telling you I'm, I'm these laughing things. Uh -huh. because they're working for prostitutes yeah. you guys are competing for prostitutes a religious yeah. man doesn't have to do that yeah. a religious man can just simply say hey are you a religious woman okay cool let's see if we are mutual in this let's see if we can gel right. well together a man doesn't have to go out there and compete for a prostitute compete for a shallow woman right. but yet y'all guys are fine with that because religion is so hard for y'all guys to comprehend Give me a break. <clears throat> yeah, guys. And, and, and like Tate was saying in the video uh, about, you know, you're, you're a loser if you're doing all this. Man, stop allowing these men to bash you and, and tear down your self-esteem. Mm. You're not a loser because you may not have a, a girlfriend. You may not be in, like these rich and famous guys. Stop listening to these guys. Stop watching YouTube wow. videos on how to pick up women. <laughs> <laughs> Just be confident, bro. Yeah, That's man. all you got to do is trust in God, man, to send you that woman in your life. And when she comes, man, just come and, and approach it with full confidence. Just be yourself. That's how you get them, man, is being yourself. Not trying to be like all of these other people, man. Just be you. Stop trying to talk and act like people that you are not just be you and that woman that's going to mm -hmm. accept you for you is going mm -hmm. to come but if you're just d trying to build your status up so that you can have mm -hmm. sex with a whole bunch of women and all of that then e essentially you're going to feel empty yep. on the inside and it's, it's, it's just shallow it's not going to lead to anything fulfilling in your life so that's pretty much all that we have to say um if you've like this video go ahead and like and comment mm -hmm. subscribe if you have something that that we said that you may be opposed against it let us know in the comments section and and, and share with us let's have a discussion about yep. it and be sure and watch to watch what happens <laughs> and follow us on shades creators on all platforms and just thank you so much for your support of the shades podcast we have more episodes to come take off your culture dark frames and step into the truth and the light which is in jesus christ god bless you amen